I'm Michael Lockshin. I'm a professor of medicine and obstetrics and gynecology and uh, attending physician at the hospital. I'm a rheumatologist. When I started out, uh, the average survival was about three years, and now we are stunned if we ever lose a patient from lupus. It's changed from a fairly rapid lethal disease to a chronic illness, and our major goals right now are to get people to live really normal lives or reasonably normal lives. One of the cruelest things about the disease is that it hits what I refer to now still as children. It's 15, 20, 25 year olds who are just starting out, have never even considered anything about their body except a sports injury before, and suddenly are now having to think about things that may injure them more or things that they have to do differently. So it's pretty big emotional adjustment. The physician who basically gives a fiat says, this is the way it is, don't argue with me, I know what I'm doing, is missing the point because there's a lot of things that we don't know about in rheumatology. And in particular, there's a lot of variation in illness that just happens because of a person's background, because of a person's diet, because of their habits and, and so on, that alter the hard and set rules. I have a series of mantras with patients, but one of them is that a telephone call or now an email or a Twitter or something is a lot cheaper than an emergency room visit. So uh, lots of things we can handle with relatively easy communication. For specific diseases, I think we're at the top of the game for what is new in science and, and so on. But I really think it's the person-to-person -person thing that makes this place really special.